Hi guys. So if you feel it in your heart and you think you would like to support my channel, go check out the Patreon page down below. Have a wonderful meditation. Thank you. Are we ready to meditate with Kari? Get yourself all ready in bed, ready to listen, ready to try and lay as still as you can, ready to relax. Did you know that there was such a place as Pet Heaven? All the pets all over the world that die go to a very special place I like to call Pet Heaven. It's no ordinary place. It's not even what you would think heaven is. It's very unusual and a very, very cool place. Today, I'm going to tell you all about Loving pets go when something happens to them here on earth and we lose them and get very, very sad. Today, I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't be sad at all because I know exactly where all the pets all over the world go when they die. They go home. There's a really cool place that we can't see with our eyes. Just like we can't see Evan with our eyes. But we know it's there, don't we? We hear about it and people tell us about it. And all different religions, all different people have different beliefs about heaven and earth and what happens to us when we die. But I know for a fact that we all go somewhere very, very special. I know this because I was lucky enough to go to pet heaven in a dream. And when I went there in my dream, I saw exactly where they all go when they leave us. And there's no reason to be sad at all, even though we miss them. Pet heaven is a really cool place. Now get completely comfortable. Make sure that your covers are just right, the light's just right, everything is just right in your room so that you can start to relax. I had a dog, his name was Ben, and I had Ben for 16 years. That's a really long time. So I got Ben when I was really small. My older brothers got Ben as a gift. So I grew up with Ben and he's, he was in my life until I was 16 years old and then Ben got sick. And unfortunately, Ben went to pet heaven. And it was really, really hard and really, really sad for everyone because we loved him, because we love our pets, don't we? We love our pets just like we love people. They're part of the family. When Ben died, I had a dream. I dreamed that I was following Ben like a cloud in the sky. 
and I could look down and watch him on his adventure. I was a cloud just hovering above him on his journey to pet heaven. Ben wasn't sad or hurt or old anymore. Ben, in his spirit self, even though his body was dead, his heart and his soul and everything about him was still alive. And that's the part that goes to pet heaven, that goes home. And he, that part of Ben wasn't hurt or tired or sad anymore. That part of Ben was bouncing and wagging his tail and he was so excited because he knew exactly was where he was going. Ben knew he was going home. Followed along in the cloud, hovering above Ben, just watching him. And he seemed to rise as if he was rising away from Earth, like a balloon rising up into the sky, higher and higher and higher, until he seemed to go past the clouds, past the stars, past the moon into a very different place. A place, like I said, that we don't see with our eyes. But it exists. You could say it exists in a different dimension. That's like a different time and place. Ben was so happy. It was like he was paddling and swimming his way up through the sky. Of course he loved us all, but it was like as soon as he got into his spirit self, just the energy part of Ben, that soul self, that never, ever, ever dies. That was so happy, and it was as if he'd forgotten about us already, but it was a good thing. He wasn't sad that he was leaving us, he was happy that he was going home, his real home. Pet heaven was his real home, just like your pets and everyone else's pets in the world that dies. They have a place where they go, and that place, my friend, is so cool. It's cool because... Everything that your pet loves to do down here on earth when you have it as a pet, for example, chase balls, drink water out of the toilet, chase mice, whatever your pet does, whether it's a cat, a dog, a guinea pig, a mouse, a rat, a horse, whatever it does, they all have their own little personalities, don't they? And they all like to do certain things, don't they? No dog or cat or anything are exactly the same. And if you've had more than one dog or you get a new dog, it's like it has a new personality. They're never the same, are they? Just like people. They're always different and they always like different things. Well, Ben liked to chase balls. In heaven... In pet heaven, that's all he does. I swear, I watched him in my dream as I hovered above him in the cloud and all he was doing all the time was chasing balls. Wagging his tail, chasing balls, eating all of his favorite foods. He was literally in heaven. And every pet on the earth that dies has their own kind of heaven. So even though they all go to the same place, each one of their heavens is individual. Each one of them gets to do everything they love to do down here with me and you. They're not sad 
at all. They're happy. Really, really happy because they get to live out all of the bestest, wildest dreams all day long. Now, how cool is that? So yes, we get sad if we lose our dog or our cat or something happens to it and it gets hurt or it dies of old age or it gets lost somehow and we can't find it. We get really, really sad. But I'm here to tell you that we shouldn't be sad because the truth is pet heaven is a cool place and your pet, your bestest friend that was down here on earth with you, when he dies, is actually in a really good place. So good that they probably like it better up there than they liked it with us because they get to do all of the wonderful things all day long. I mean, how cool is that, really? So my message is, don't be sad. I know it's hard, but don't be sad. Your pet, that little animal that you loved lots and lots, loved being with you down here on Earth, loved every single day he got to spend with you. But in truth, it's really having a great time up there in pet heaven. So we shouldn't be sad at all. In fact, maybe all the love that we have stored inside that we would have given our pet, we should spread that around the world and give it to new pets and new animals and take care of as many animals as we possibly can. Because there's so many animals out there in the world that need to be taken care of, isn't they? And we have a responsibility to be good to animals, to be kind to animals, to love our pets, to feed them good food, to walk them, to play with them, to love them and take care of them, just like they love us when they're here, don't they? They love us so much. So don't be sad. Promise to yourself right now, promise to your little friend that's in pet heaven that you won't be sad anymore. You will only be happy when you think about them. You promise? Good. Now let's relax. Close your eyes if you haven't done so already. We're going to dream about pet heaven tonight and all the fun things that we would do if we were up there in pet heaven with all of those fantastic animals. But you have to relax and get comfy and sleepy so that you can fall to sleep and have wonderful dreams just like I did when Ben died. Again. 
when you breathe out, let your shoulders get all heavy and sloppy and relax into your pillow, into the back of your bed. Relax your chest, your tummy. Try and stay really still so your body can start to get sleepy. to feel really cozy and comfy and relaxed. Use your imagination and imagine, just like I did, that you're floating on a big cloud, floating all the way up to pet heaven. soft and spongy and comfortable, like a big fluffy feather. Let your back and your hips relax into the cloud. Just let it take you higher and higher. relax and get heavy, starting to get more sleepy now and as you get sleepier you can see that you're coming towards the entrance of pet heaven. Maybe your little friend is waiting for you right there so that you can play ball that you did with them all over again but now you can do it in their home in their very special heaven walking up to the gates letting yourself through the gates and saying hello to your little friend There's wagging tails everywhere. 
there's purring cats everywhere. There's hamsters and guinea pigs and rats and mice running and playing and eating carrots, doing all their favourite things. Such a cool place. No one is sad in bed heaven. Everyone is happy. There's fish, there's every single animal you can think of here, all living together in pet heaven. sad anymore, only to be happy when you think about your little friend.